Pro number two for getting a job at a PA school is the money. Hey guys, it's Donna. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, take some time, look around my channel. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. For those of you who have been with me on this journey, thank you guys so much for joining me. All right, so I'm gonna be talking about the pros and cons of getting a job right out of PA school as opposed to not getting a job out of PA school. I'm gonna give you three pros and cons for getting a job and three pros and cons for not getting a job. All right, so the number one pro of getting a job right out of PA school is you're working. You are no longer in PA school. You are working in the profession that you've been striving to get into for so long. And that is like a blessing that you're excited, you're happy, um, you're suturing up some stuff or delivering some babies or, you know, wiping some snot off of some kid's nose, whatever profession you've got, whatever specialty you've decided to go into, you are working. So that is definitely Pro number one, you're working. With respect to that same pro, um, it is also a con because you're working, right? So now you've gone from spending eight to five hours a day um, in didactic year and then whatever your shifts were during clinical year to working. And I mean, you know, some people don't like work. Uh, some people just kind of suck it up and you have to work, but yeah, you're working, you have a job. Um, so that can be a con for some people. And I mean, I just wanted to put that out there because you have to realize that this is what's going to be happening. There's no break. You're going straight from PA school to work. Pro number two for getting a job out of PA school is the money. <laughs> You are making some money. You have gone from being a poor broke student to actually being like a thriving member of society, which is great. Um, and honestly, like to be honest, there is no con to this pro. Like you're making money and that's a benefit. Oh, I guess maybe there is a con, you know, maybe like people are not hitting you up for money because they think like you're super rich and that could be a con. But honestly, like the fact that you're able to help provide for your family, um, you know, you can go on trips and do vacations or whatever the case you may um, decide to do with that money that you're making as a PA, that is a benefit. And so that is one of the major pros of getting a job right out of PA school. You're no longer just living off of that government money, aka student loans. You are actually now making your own money and um, that is a blessing. Now, with respect to making that money, um, here comes the next pro to getting a job out of PA school and that is what I've already touched on, student loans. You can start paying back those student loans. That is something that a lot of us are pretty concerned about because you take out this money for PA school and it's a lot of money for some of these schools, you know, upwards of $100,000 for your time in PA school. And so you're now sitting up here wondering like, all right, how am I gonna pay this back? And the fact that you have a job uh, immediately out of PA school gives you the opportunity to do that. So that is a pro to getting a job right out of PA school. You can start paying back your student loans. Now on the flip side, that is also a con for some of us, right? Because now your money is going to student loans. So you're not making as much money as you thought you would be making, but you're still making money Money, but you're paying student loans and so although that is a con it is a pro and we have to look at the bright side of things because now you're getting yourself out of debt so those are my three pros and cons for getting a job out of PA school now let's go to the other hand of not getting a job right out of PA school what are my three pros and cons for that so pro number one is for not getting a job straight out of PA school is that you can relax, like take a load off, relax, break, and you know, just enjoy your time. You can go like, I don't know, sip some type of Martinelli's or something like that um, on a beach somewhere. You're just having a good old time. And, and that's important because you've just spent the last two years of your life in PA school studying, you've just passed your boards. 
hopefully, right? You know, that's the desire. So this is all if you pass your boards. So you just pass your boards and you just want to take a load off. You don't want to be studying again. Right now, you want to relax. And you can do that because you are officially a PAC and you don't have a cure in the world. However, a con to that is you also don't have any money in the world, right? You are either still living off of those last remnants of your student loans or you're like bunking up at your mom and dad's house or your aunt's house, whoever's house, um, and you're just kind of like bumming around. You have no money um, and you're just doing your thing. And so that is a con to just relaxing. Pro number two to not getting a job right out of PA school is the fact that you can be picky, okay? So you can be very choosy in the type of job that you want to apply to, that you choose to accept, um, you know, the type of like, where you want to schedule your interviews. Um, I know that is something that uh, a lot of us that are currently in my program, you know, just trying to figure out, all right, so like I'm trying to navigate, you know, going to an interview and then also at the same time making sure that I'm able to um, meet my school requirements because we're still in school. So that is that was an important part. But if you've now taken some time off, you can grad, you know, after you've graduated before getting a job, you can be picky and choosy in um, which job you want to get into. A con to that is the fact that you have no money. So again, like this is the trend, right? You are being picky, but you have no job, so you have no money. You like you're again, you're just still kind of bumming around. And that is really like the con to not getting a job right out of PA school. Pro number three for not getting a job right out of PA school is the fact that you have time. You have time to spend with your family. You have time to do whatever it is that you want to do. Um, and I know for me, that's very important. For a lot of people, that is important because you've just spent the last two to two and a half, three years of your life actually like just studying and doing all of that and dedicating your time to PA school. Um, and now you're getting the opportunity to dedicate that time and thank your family and friends that have supported you on, all along the way. Uh, so that is an absolute pro to not getting a job right out of PA school. A con to that is the fact that you have no money. <laughs> Like that is really the major con of not getting a job right out of PA school. You don't have any money, so you can't do anything, right? So, I mean, I don't know. Like if you really wanna take some time, I think it's just important to plan it out. How much time are you exactly taking? Are you taking like a week? Are you taking two weeks, three weeks, a month? Um, Make sure that you have planned and prepared for that so that you're not sitting up here kind of just like figuring out, oh, like, well, what am I gonna do now? Because the whole credentialing process can take upwards to three months before you actually get onboarded and start working at the job that you get hired onto. So it's important to understand that, realize that, and make sure that you have those plans set in place before you decide to take some time off after graduating from PA school to just kind of like relax and get a job. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very helpful. I hope I point some like really pertinent tips out to you all. Um, if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and like this video. Follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. And thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you guys for commenting and asking this question. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I will be graduating soon, so that video will be coming out, so stay tuned for that. Um, those of you who have not seen my white coat ceremony video, go take a look at that. There will be another one coming when I get long white coated. I'm so excited for this, you guys. You guys, we've been on this, and I'm really excited. This journey has been amazing, and I really appreciate being able to spend it and share it with you all. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!